Did you know that Blood Goobert can actually do crit damage? So I wanted to play Bloodthorn, which is one of the strongest builds in Ranger, add in a Blood Goobert, which will actually deal a lot of damage because you stack so much vampirism with the Bloodthorns, and now you just make sure he crits and you just have a beautiful build. So hope you enjoy the video. Am I stronger than that? I actually don't know. Oh yeah, I'm okay. I'll just get more herbs. They seem pretty OP early. Is it better than a food item? A food item is one more damage every two seconds. This is two more health every two seconds, so that's better, right? Although I do also get armor every four seconds. Uh, and I speed boost a banana. I think it's close. But herbs also are better long run than the food. I'm pretty sure. I think the issue is on, on uh, Ranger, I'm a little bit lost at the moment. Because I haven't played in a bit, so I don't know what the best builds are. Yeah, yeah I should have taken Leaf, I think. Ooh, that is so early. Five, six, seven, eight. We get it here. Hell yes. <laughs> what a crazy backpack. Okay. Maybe I go with spikes as well. There was one round I lost just to pure spikes. Nothing. And he had like only two spike shields. Spike shields are actually so strong early. I'm gonna value it higher. Every time I go it, it also feels good. Do we greet this turn just by customer card and pig? Or is that like... That's borderline psychotic, but I think I like it. Guys, speed boost the uh, wooden sword, not this. Because generally speaking, this one gets more damage output than this, no? Ah, but they're not touching. You need this sword to touch this one and speed boost this. That's how you get the most damage. You got plus two damage here. I guess this works as well. You just speed boost. Or you, you have plus two damage with the whetstone. But no, actually it's worse. You need the sword to touch and whetstone to touch the wood sword. And that, yeah, 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 yeah. Do we want this like ever? Probably not. I don't need backpack space either. What the fuck? There's also this thing. Hmm. You could make a lucky pig. But I don't want to because I'm taking leaf red. Or I take arrow. I have... Uh, how crazy is a second foreign whip? Very. I like it. I am all for very crazy. I will instantly run out of stamina. But I'm just hoping I hit blood foreign soon. Yeah. And also, it just worked for the spikes, right? Even if even if I run out of stamina, it's fine because I still have the other one hitting, and they're giga strong because of the spikes. So yeah, I honestly don't care if I run out. It's like whatever. Oh, look who decided to show up here! It's our favorite goop combo. Oh, this is actually amazing. It's actually beautiful. It's actually so good. Bro, well, all we need is our blood forens. Hello, game. I got stunned by the hammer. Bit unlucky. Is it better than fam gloves? Uh, I like it more because it will steal a lot of life from my opponents and it can crit as well. You can still go for Vamp Gloves, but I have Goob and Blood Amulet in the same shop, so I'm going for that. I could probably position this better somehow, like switch it all. Because, uh, yeah, I waste a little bit of space here, right? I can at least have a like, trigger here. 
Next turn we get the leaf. It doesn't do anything yet though, so that's an issue. It's actually better to get the arrow, but I believe that we find our our weapon soon. But yeah, I want my blood goop to be a damage dealer. I want it to crit because it can crit and just be nasty. Because okay, so the the interaction is just that foreign whips together with a hungry blade. I mean blood forns, right? And blood forns transfer regen into spikes but also vampiric so i usually have like 10 plus vampiric insane amount and blood goobird uh seals 10 life plus vampiric so it steals it heals me a lot plus it steals the damage plus it can crits so i could life steal up to like i don't know 40 damage and i just have this crit like a maniac oh my god man But I do need to hit Blood Forens. That's the one small requirement for this build. The thing is, I have a lot of money, though, I think. Mm hmm. This is good for gloves. Can I take it already? No. Can I take this? I could if I sell the pig. Also, I need to reorder everything. This, um, I should just do this. What am I doing? So I will have a whip here, goob here, second whip here. Oh, this works actually really well. Can I ever position it in a way that I can have this thing touching all three? No, but I think I just value the whips critting then because when they crit, they also give me more spikes. So I'll do this. Rocks don't really matter, no. Okay, next turn we got double Hungry Blade. They're making a Falcon Blade. What are my crit chances right now? 20 only. Nice, two one. Okay. I have no space. This could go here. I need the banana here though. I still have five lives. Wait, I haven't lost a single round yet? I did not realize I am undefeated right now. I thought I was like on one or two HP for some reason. So, and I feel like I've not been doing much different this game compared to the last games where I tried this. Only difference is that I hit foreign whips early, I guess. Uh, we will lose, but that's fine, right? This guy is just... I don't know what the hell I'm watching, and I'm- I have no stamina here. But... Just got our hungry blade, baby. I don't mind going for vampiric gloves, but at the moment another blade is more important. And space. Oh, I forgot that I can roll with, um, custom record. This can go here, then. I don't know where to position this shit. Um, because like everything is nature. I still have my pig just milking it for money. That was like a weird sentence. <laughs> so if we look real quick at what's happening here. What am I facing? Not a blood foreign fencing rapier. They don't have as much um, regen as me though. So I have this guy on attack, we convert regen into vampiric, forns, uh, whatever. This scales on the forn still, but the regen also makes our blood goober deal more damage. Life steal, plus 20% crit chance here, 30, 20. Um, yeah, that's it, that's the interactions. A 13 regen. I want to see how this plays out. Um... So yeah, we have high crit likelihood, which is kind of whatever. And our healing is just absurd. I want to see when blood goop crits. It missed? Wait, the bird fucked up my luck. 
Oh no, I lost to Bird. I feel like I'm a lot stronger. What? I was winning the entire time. This is nasty. I never ran out of stamina, I guess. Not our issue. Um. Let me do a stamina potion. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna play a bit more safe now. Because I'm done losing. This dagger is also... Maybe I should have sold a dagger. But it's still decent to trigger this. So this is hammer dagger. I don't know how I perform against that. Pretty decent. Because <laughs> of the spikes. More stamina. Oh, and a bird. Oh, I feel like this thing I can easily get more value. Right. I'm still left crit for these two weapons. Maybe I'll put it here. <laughs> is that mad? Ah, this critting is still best. No. These are always awkward, eh? Because I can never have this touch two weapons on top anymore. No. But maybe I need to do put this here. In the future, then. I should lock the bird. Yep. They are pandemonium spiked shields. Oh, I'm dealing so much. 45% crit chance. Oh, Goober crit. I think. Or did I not? No, Dell only 15. Already 8. I need the double blood for it. I feel like I'm not regening or using my regen fast enough. Look at how much I still have left. All the files is over. Yeah, I need the double. Get me Hungry Blade. Ooh. Ooh. This has to go here. I want the health potion to maybe trigger this, but... Um, what do I put bird here? Yeah, I might need more backspace now. This is... What is this, man? So... 60% crit, 45, 60. <laughs> Alright, what is going on, books? And yeah, I need way more Vampiric faster, you know? I get spikes pretty fast, but... I get spikes because when my whip crits, it also gives me a spike. And that makes my Blitthorn deal 23 damage a second. Sheesh. This deals um, like 20 now. Yeah, the build is working. It, it looks good, but it's working. I can make like vampiric cloths later or dagger or something, but it's so expensive and I need that for like so much more. Mm. All right, nothing is really going to change here, but. They have 17 regen, they're also Bloodthorn. But they're like only Bloodthorn. They do have some shields and stuff. Oh my god, what? They just. They died so fast. 40 crit from Bloodthorn. 56. It's only Bloodthorn doing like the big damage. Foreign Whip that did 23 though. Um, Goddamn. 60 crit. 80 crit on Goober. <laughs> Oh, we could have it per crit. We also found this finally. It's four more rounds it's worth. Okay, I think I buy this and we have a perma crit in group. The main issue is like I wish I could position stuff better. I feel like I can. I just need to rethink it, right? I think I can have this here. The sword there. Yeah, actually I can. Is it time to reorder everything? I think it's time. 
Oh, that sucks. Okay, you're in here. Right? I'm gonna also put all my bags in here. Uh, speed goes here. So this guy goes here. Meaning we need a square bag here. And this guy, I think, goes just vertical. Hey, Ben here. Uh, this is horizontal, not vertical. Okay, carry on. <laughs> Which means I'll put another bag here. Let me get it. Yes. This is a good place for a ring. It's a good place for a ring. And then up top is good places for rings. And I have one ring still that... I guess it goes here. Yeah. Okay, this looks good. Um, this needs to be next to this. I'll just put it here for now. Stamina will be a massive issue. It is what it is. This thing gonna steal a lot of life. These are sped up. They have super high crit chance. Um, I have a bunch of herbs, bunch of luck. So this turn will be awkward, but the turns after will be beautiful. Actually, magnet. Maybe I get the box of riches. Uh, too late. Couldn't cancel fast enough. Uh, why is this guy's arrow not pointing at any weapons? Uh, why is this only seeing four? I don't know. Uh, this seems very scuffed. This is beats me. I'm sad. But he is playing Ripsaw Blade, which counters me. Uh, counters me pretty well. And I ran out of stamina too early. So yeah, like I said, this is the awkward turn. We're also just facing a guy who kind of destroys me. But next turn, we just snowball. Because now I can put this here. And I can... Position way better, yeah. And I can take this backspace here. Oh my god. It's all coming together. Um, this goes here. Maybe this goes here as well. I don't even know how high the crit chance still is for this. Like, does it need more? This is already seen by free. Maybe it's here. Like, this is already seen by free right now. I think this makes more sense. Not a bird? Hmm. Shield? Hmm. Let's go for things that actually, like, make me live. Another clover? I don't need... I mean, I'll take it because they might play bird against me, you know? It's cheap anyway. If they play bird against me, I need to be like... At least have some accuracy left. So these guys can go here. That means that I have backspace now that I can use up top. Actually, we can move everything up top. This can stay. This goes here. I forgot that we still have a banana. I'm not gonna lie. We could also move this up top here to see guaranteed more shit. And I think I like that. I don't know, this makes me happy. Seeing a board like this. Very unconventional. The blood goober strat. Uh, what am I facing? Triple pineapple with vampiric gloves. Also blood fern, of course. Um, what do they buy? They don't have piercing arrow. They don't have leaf. They have nothing. They just skipped their turn. Their Pokemon turn. Okay. So we're going to be converting much faster now. Just because I have two of them. Meaning my Vampiric stacks quicker. My Blood Goobird, who has 75% crit, uh, has a higher chance as well. It's like, um... Yoinking. I'm gonna hide my cam just so you guys can see the big red numbers because it's super satisfying. Oh. They're dead already. Never mind. Uh, they did 78 to me with Blood Foreign. Sheesh. But mine are... About the same damage output. Uh, bird also are moving luck there, but they also had a bird? Or how do I have so little luck? I only have three. They also have bird, yeah. Crit with blood. Foreign. Honestly, Goober just crit once. But foreign. Hey, the 40 blood Goober that crit damage. That is all lifesteal. <laughs> oh, it's so, so magnificent, man. I had more herbs, more stamina, more, more of this. I trigger it less often now because I don't have something here. But, yeah, it is what it is. Like this, I guess. Uh, 
Another blood. Okay, so the meta is Bloodthorn. Most people are playing Reaper, Bloodthorn. They also have Nocturnal Locklifter, I guess. Double gloves. Hmm. They actually have a hundred percent crit, but yeah, last fight they also had a hundred percent crit, but the bird just messed up my luck. Um, nineteen region. Yeah, I'm perma quitting for now until the bird trigger. But they have zero luck, and this skill's slower. Yeah, I'm big chilling. It's beautiful. Wait, actually? I jinxed it. What happened? Why is it so close? Okay, we killed him in the end, so... I don't know why I got so close for a second, but they know what's good. Final round. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Honestly, it's not that bad. It can remove stamina from my opponent. I didn't think about how I will fit this on my board, but those are issues for later. <laughs> Wait, I should actually think about that. I can fit this here. And then I can do like this here. And then... I can put one here, I can put one here, I bought a one bagger, okay bro. Mm -hmm. This at least triggers the goober a little bit more often. Um, Alright, let's see it, do we win? We are up against unhealing with health potions. But how does that even work? Because you need the timing to be good, right? I wanna see how this works. They gain a bunch of armor as well. He needs a Superma gift unhealing. Wait, this is actually a sick build if it works. He could OTK me with un wait wait wait. So this is triggered. This needs constantly five mana. So he needs to always have five mana ready. I'm still perma quitting. He doesn't have a bird. Yeah. One health potion consumed. Did it deal damage to me? He just triggered unhealing. The health potion triggered. It's just not that much. Wait, this is a cool idea. Ah, we won. I think I'm gonna try this next. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is, I think, um, a really fun build. I think a really good build as well. Bloodforms, but you have extra synergies with Bloodgubbard. It can crit. It stacks on the vampirism, so it, it actually deals a lot of damage and heals you. Good survivability. Um, and then you just fill your boy with random shit. Uh, I like this. This is a fun game.